I'm David Tracy with Jalopnik. I'm at a junkyard near Detroit on a quest to grab the coolest car parts I can find, take them back to my workbench, and show you how they work. Let's see what I can find. Today I'm looking for windshield wiper transmissions. This is your standard pivot type wiper. Um, you see this on a lot of cars, two wipers that kind of go together like that, like, like that. But the problem is it leaves a big um, unwiped spot at the corner, so uh, there are other solutions which we'll show in a bit. But let's get these wipers out. So there is our windshield wiper transmission here. So now we gotta find um, one of those opposing wiper types. So let's see if we can find one. Ooh, look at this. This Mercedes has a single wiper at the center. The way it works is it actually extends when the wiper is pointed toward the corner of the windscreen and then it gets smaller toward the center and extends that way it wipes more of the glass. We're definitely gonna take that apart. Let's get to it. We got it. We got the awesome Mercedes wiper linkage. All right, on the quest for the hosed wiper. Oh, look at that, this will work, look at this. It's got exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, it pivot from the sides, so it gets right into the corners and it only leaves the unwiped part up there behind the rear view mirror anyway. So yeah, let's um, let's take this one apart. So we've got three windshield wiper transmissions. We're gonna put it on a workbench and see how they work. Wiper linkages are awesome. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks like an alien. But before we get to this one, we're gonna look at the simplest style wiper transmission, and that's the pivot type. So that's what we see here. This came out of a 4350 bus. Yeah, we'll just get straight to how it works. We're gonna pop this cover here. We're gonna look at where the power actually comes from, and that is an electric motor. So, you can see the output of this electric motor goes straight to a worm gear. What that worm gear does is it spins this white ring gear, and the purpose of this setup here is to multiply the torque of this little motor. It takes a lot of torque to move your wiper arm, so instead of having the motor make all of it, you can use a clever little gear set to multiply your motor stork. That gear is attached to a shaft. So imagine this is the output shaft from that motor assembly. If you put an arm at the end of it, you can create left and right motion. So if you look at the motion at the end of this little arm, right now it's moving to the left, now it's moving to the right, now to the left, now to the right, and if you can create a linkage that ignores the up and down motion of that rotating link, you'll just be left with forces in the left and right direction. So let's see how that works in practice. Here's the bottom of that motor assembly. You can see, here's the output shaft. That shaft rotates this arm. This arm, as it rotates, it's going to move in this direction. That's going to push this link. Eventually that arm is going to reach a vertical position and then it's going to come this way and that's going to pull the link. Now how does that move your wiper arms? Well, your wiper arm is connected to a shaft. That shaft has its own little arm attached to it. So it works the opposite way of that motor. The motor there powers a shaft that rotates an arm. In this case, the shaft is actually going to be powered by the movement of the arm. So this link moves back and forth. It pulls on this arm and it rotates the shaft in here. Um, this is the pulse circuit and its job is to regulate the speed of your wiper arms 
and to also make sure that your wiper arms come to a rest when you turn your engine off. So it's a park circuit. We're actually just gonna bypass this. We're gonna plug right into little connections here. We're gonna feed it a ground, we're gonna feed it 12 volts, and we're gonna get this thing to move. Motion, this is a disaster. Okay, so I forcefully enlisted the help of my cameraman, Jared, who is going to hold the base of these wipers and uh, he's gonna connect the battery. There we go, there we go, there we go, see it? There we go, there we go. All right, so that one's moving perfectly and you can see this one's also moving, it's working. It's working, it's working great, look at it. It's amazing. You can't see it. Can you lift your left arm? So. I'm, I'm Look at that. All right, there it is. There's your pivot style wiper. We're going to move on to the next one. All right, so now we're going to have a look at that alien looking wiper transmission that we pulled off of a Honda Civic. It is a opposed style system. So it's the ones that do this. The benefit of that is that those are able to reach the very edges of your windscreen. And the only part of your windshield that isn't wiped is kind of in the upper center behind the rear view mirror, which is where you don't need to look through anyway. Um, it is more complex, it is more expensive than a typical pivot style, but you can use it in all different markets, whether it's left-hand drive or right-hand drive. And now we're gonna get straight to it. We're gonna look at the motor mechanism. A lot of the same stuff that you saw in the other pivot wiper system. Your motor armature is connected to a worm gear, which spins a ring gear. Um, what you can see on the ring gear is these little contacts. Those are called your park switch contactors. And the idea there is whenever you turn your car off, that park setting will correspond with these little contacts on the housing and that'll short out the motor and cut it off. So, this nut here is attached to that shaft on that ring gear. So, as the ring gear rotates, it is going to turn this little lever here. So that little arm is gonna rotate and as it does, it's going to push that that way. And so what that'll do is it's going to pivot this link about this hinge. So this is gonna move that way. It's gonna put this link into compression. Now this here is fixed. So this is gonna push on the little arm that connects to the wiper shaft. And as it does that, it will rotate. So that's how this one works. So this bell crank, as it rotates, it is actually going to move this link in the opposite direction of that, as that one. And what that'll do, is it's going to push and pull on this linkage right here. This arm gets pushed by the bell crank. That then pushes this linkage, which rotates this arm. So, that's how they work. Now let's send some current through it and see how it looks under its own power. There we go, it's working. The wiper arms are not quite where they need to be, but you get the idea. So there it is. Now let's move to our Mercedes wiper system. So now we're gonna look at a Mercedes mono wiper. Um, it's an eccentric style wiper transmission. The arm will actually extend when it's pointed toward the corner of the windscreen so that it can really get deep into those corners and wipe a lot of that glass. It is a small system. It's great from a packaging standpoint, um, but it is rather complex. Uh, before we get into the complexity there, we're just gonna look inside this motor housing. It looks very similar to what you see in the other vehicles like the Civic. You've got your worm gear attached to your motor. That spins your ring gear. And the ring gear's got those little contacts for your park switch. So this nut here is on the end of the shaft that is spun by that white ring gear. On the end of this shaft is, a, is an arm, a short arm, that pushes and pulls this link as that arm rotates in a circle. Right now I'm gonna rotate the shaft over here and you'll see it's putting this link in compression and that is going to 
push and pull that linkage back there, and that's gonna move your wiper back and forth. So unlike the other wiper transmissions we've looked at, this one actually extends. So the wiper will extend to reach deep into the corners of the windscreen. We showed this shaft right here, which spins the wiper blade. Now at the end of that shaft is another pair of links. So as that shaft rotates, it's gonna pull a link in a circle. You can see kind of the circular shape here. And that is gonna push on this link, which you can see right here. So it's gonna push and pull on that link as it rotates, and it's going to end up pulling and pushing this piston system right along these tracks. We're gonna rotate this and we'll see how it looks in practice. So you can see that link in there pushing the other link and thus moving that piston up and down those tracks. Notice how it extends when it reaches the corners. So there it is. See how that rotates and pushes that back and forth. Now we're gonna flip it over and have a look at that awesome piston. That is awesome. So this Mercedes one is definitely the coolest wiper transmission, but they're all way more exciting than you probably ever expected. So that's it. Those are three different kinds of wiper systems. Let's see what the junkyard has in store for us next time. Watch the rotation of this arm. So right now, it's moving left.